What's up hockey fans, welcome back to another video from Triple D Hockey. Up next, we're going to talk about the greatest players who have ever worn every jersey number in the NHL. We'll break the list up into a couple of parts, so today we'll talk about numbers double zero through 20. Some numbers have been worn by multiple Hall of Famers, while others have only been worn a few times. Before we get started, don't forget to click that subscribe button, and don't forget to like, comment, and check us out on social media. Starting us off wearing double zero, we have John Davidson. Only two players have ever worn double zero, Davidson and Martin Baron, who only wore it for three games. Davidson wore double zero for the Rangers during the 1977-78 season, appearing in 34 games with an 899 save percentage. No player has worn double zero since, as the NHL banned it because their database couldn't register it. Only one person has worn zero in NHL history, so he gets this spot by default. Neil Sheehy wore zero for one season while with the Hartford Whalers in 1987-1988 season, registering a measly five points. Number one is one of those numbers that a bunch of goalies have worn, so for purposes of this list, we'll go with Johnny Bauer of the Toronto Maple Leafs. Bauer won four Stanley Cups, two Vezinas, and was an All-Star and Hall of Famer while playing through the 60s. Pretty solid choice if you ask me. Some other players to wear number one were Jacques Plante, Terry Sawchuk, and Roberto Luongo. Number two is typically worn by defensemen, and Brian Leach was one of the best ever. Leach was a two-time Norris Trophy winner and first American-born Conn Smythe winner as playoff MVP for his incredible performance during the 1994 Stanley Cup run by the New York Rangers. He also won the Calder Trophy as Rookie of the Year while setting the record of 23 goals by a rookie defenseman. Eddie Shore, Doug Harvey, and Duncan Keith were also deserving of the top spot for number two. Pierre Pilat wore number three for the Chicago Blackhawks during the 1950s and 60s, where he won three straight Norris trophies and three additional runner-ups, along with a Stanley Cup championship while playing alongside Bobby Hall and Stan Mikita in 1961. While with the Blackhawks, he also served as team captain for seven seasons. Honorable mentions belong to Gary Galley and Zdeno Chara. There is some stiff competition for the number four jersey, including Jean Beliveau, Vincent LeCavier, and Red Kelly, but Bobby Orr takes the spot for us. Orr is widely considered the greatest defenseman of all time who revolutionized the sport with his speed, scoring, and playmaking ability during his playing days in Boston. Orr played for 12 seasons and has the distinction as the only defenseman to win the league scoring title. He also won eight straight Norris trophies and three straight Hart trophies as league MVP. As one of the greatest Swedes to ever play, Nicholas Lindstrom is the greatest player to wear number 5. Lindstrom played 20 seasons and was a 12-time All-Star, 7-time Norris Trophy winner and a Conn Smythe winner, and won 4 Stanley Cups with one of the NHL's greatest dynasties, while also being the first European player to captain a team to the Stanley Cup. The Red Wings never missed the playoffs during his career and was the first European named playoff MVP. Lindstrom was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2015. We have Phil Housley for jersey number 6. Housley was drafted 6th overall by the Buffalo Sabres in 1982. He played 21 seasons and is the second leading scorer in NHL history for American-born players totaling 1,232 points, only behind Mike Madonna who passed him in 2007. Housley also never won a Stanley Cup, coming closest in 1998 with the Washington Capitals. Housley played for 8 different franchises and was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2004. Jersey 7 is also a number with a handful of Hall of Fame candidates, but our vote goes to Phil Esposito. Esposito is considered one of the greatest players of all time and greatest scorer of his generation, who played for the Blackhawks, Bruins, and Rangers during the 60s and 70s. He won six Rocket Richard trophies, five Art Ross trophies, two Hart trophies, and two Stanley Cup championships with the Bruins. He retired as the second leading scorer of all time in NHL history and was the first player in NHL history to score 1,000 points in a decade. Not too shabby at all. We finally have an active player show up on our list. At number 8, we have the great 8, Alexander Ovechkin of the Washington Capitals. Ovechkin finally was able to hoist the Stanley Cup in 2018, accomplishing the feat that eluded him for his entire career. Already considered one of the NHL's all-time great scorers, Ovi is on pace to challenge Wayne Gretzky's career goal record of 894 goals, claiming that record would secure his place in history as the game's greatest goal scorer. Number 9 likely has the most elite talent of any of the jerseys we'll look at. Part of this is due to the influence of the player chosen as the best to wear the number, Mr. Hockey Gordy Howe. Howe was the ultimate hockey player and inspired hundreds of future NHL players. Howe played 26 seasons in the NHL and another 6 in the WHA. He made his debut in 1946 and played until 1980 and led the league in points 6 times, goals 4 times, won 6 Hart trophies and 4 Stanley Cup championships. 
The Montreal Canadiens have quite the history, so to be the all-time leading scorer in franchise history, you have to be pretty special. Guy Lafleur is that guy, and the best to wear number 10. He totaled 1,246 points as a Canadian, and also played for the Rangers and Quebec Nordiques over the course of 17 seasons. He won 5 Stanley Cups and scored 50 goals and 100 points in 6 consecutive seasons. For Jersey 11, look no further than Marc Messier. Messier was a highly physical player that also succeeded using his elite skill. Messier is a 6-time Stanley Cup champion and the only player to captain two different teams to cup wins. The heart of the Edmonton Oilers dynasty of the 1980s and the man that led the Rangers to their first Stanley Cup win since 1940 in 1994, no 11 was greater than Messier. Jerome Aginla takes the top spot for number 12. Aginla is a 6-time All-Star having twice scored 50 goals in a season. He's the franchise leader in points for the Calgary Flames while also playing for four other teams throughout his career. Aginla also famously was never able to hoist Lord Stanley's Cup, but did have the primary assist on Sidney Crosby's golden goal in the 2010 Vancouver Olympics. From one franchise icon to the next, Matt Sundin is the greatest player to ever wear lucky number 13. Sundin is the Maple Leafs franchise leader in points, the first European player to be drafted first overall, and the only Swede to score 500 goals. Sundin was a silky smooth player and a fan favorite throughout his entire career. Number 14 was super close between Brendan Shanahan and Dave Keon, but Shanahan gets the nod here. Shanahan played in the NHL for five different teams, winning three Stanley Cup championships with the Red Wings. Maybe the greatest power forward to ever play the game, Shanahan accumulated 2,489 penalty minutes and 1,354 points spanning over 1,500 games. There surprisingly aren't too many household names that wore 15 in the NHL but we're going with Milt Schmidt for the number 15. I'm sure many people don't know who he is, but he played through the 1940s and 50s. He won the Stanley Cup with Boston and a scoring title as well, but he also missed three seasons in the middle of his career after enlisting in the Canadian Army to fight in World War II. Number 16 has some very strong competition with the likes of Trevor Linden, Marcel Dion, and Bobby Clark, but Brett Hall gets the nod over them with his 741 career goals while wearing the number. Hall played for five franchises during his 20-year career and is one of five players to score 50 goals in 50 games. He won the Stanley Cup twice, was a two-time Olympian for the United States, and joined his father Bobby in the Hockey Hall of Fame in 2009. Yari Curry earned the top spot for us for number 17. Curry had some tough competition in Ilya Kovalchuk, Wendell Clark, and Rod the Bod Brindamore, but putting up a ton of points playing along Wayne Gretzky puts him at the top of our list. Curry played for five teams throughout his career, but found the most success during his time in Edmonton, where he won five Stanley Cup championships in his 10 years. He finished his career with 601 goals and almost 1,400 points, earning himself a spot as the first Finnish-born player to be inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. Number 18 brings us to Dennis Savard. The Hall of Famer scored over 100 points five times in his career and won the Stanley Cup in 1993 with Montreal. Savard played for Chicago, Montreal, and Tampa during his career, but found most of his success in Chicago, ending his career as the third leading scorer in franchise history. He has the unfortunate distinction of playing on a really good team during the Oilers dynasty of the 1980s, losing to them four separate times in the conference finals. Number 19 is one of those numbers with a ton of great talent, but unfortunately for the other players, Steve Eiserman also wore it, and is easily one of the best players in NHL history. Iserman led the Red Wings for 22 seasons, serving as captain for over 1,300 games, winning the Stanley Cup championship three times and scoring an incredible 1,755 points during his career, which currently sits at 7th place all time. He's also won numerous awards including the Conn Smythe Trophy, Selkie, and Lester B. Pearson. Notably, in the 1988-89 season, he scored a whopping 155 points, which was only bettered by Wayne Gretzky and Mario Lemieux for most points in a season in NHL history. While number 19 had a few Hall of Famers vying for the top spot, number 20 is no contest. Luke Robitaille easily claims the top spot as the highest scoring left winger of all time. Robitaille played for four different teams, winning the Stanley Cup with the Red Wings in 2002, but he's best known for the 14 seasons he played in Los Angeles. Lucky Luke finished his career with 668 goals and 1,394 points, which as mentioned is the highest point total in history for a left winger. And there you have it, hockey fans, the best players to ever wear jersey number 00 through 20. We plan to have future videos for the rest of the jersey numbers, so be on the lookout for those. But in the meantime, help us out and give us a like, subscribe, and follow us on social media. Do you think we forgot someone?
leave some comments below and let us know who should be included.